हेलो चिल्ड्रंस इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव फिनिश्ड लेसन नंबर सेवन दैट इज वेरिएशन एंड एक्चुअली आई हैव टू टेक द एट लेसन आफ्टर दैट लेसन बट वी विल टेक दैट एट लेसन आफ्टर टेकिंग नाइन्थ लेसन सो डिस्काउंट एंड कमीशन टूडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग ओके एंड आफ्टर फिनिशिंग दिस लेसन द लास्ट लेसन फ्रॉम अवर सिलेबस ऑफ सेमिस्टर दैट इज द कॉड लेटर्स लेसन नंबर एट वी विल कंटिन्यू सो टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट द डिस्काउंट एंड कमिनेशन कमीशन आई थिंक यू आर विजिटिंग सो मेनी प्लेसेस नाउ दिवाली केम गणपति फेस्टिवल इज नाउ गोइंग ऑन सो इफ यू सी हियर देर आर सो मेनी शॉप्स आर देयर दे आर गिविंग डिस्काउंट टू अस दे आर गिविंग डिस्काउंट टू टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट एटीन परसेंट डिस्काउंट सच ए टाइप्स ऑफ एड्स ओके इफ यू सी दैट न्यू मीन्स एमेजॉन अदरवाइज फ्लिपकार्ट देर ऑल्सो यू सीन दैट इफ योर मदर और यू पीपल्स आर ऑर्डरिंग सम ऑर्डर यू गिव ऑर्डर स्टार्ट टाइम देयर इट इज रिटर्न डिस्काउंट इज गिवन टू अस डिस्काउंट सो वॉट इज दैट डिस्काउंट हाउ दे आर गिविंग द डिस्काउंट डिस्काउंट दे आर गिविंग मीन्स दे आर सेलिंग दैट आर्टिकल और दैट थिंग इन लॉस दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी नो दे आर नॉट नो वन विल टेक द नो वन विल एफोर्ड द लॉस सो फॉर दैट डिस्काउंट वॉट इज डिस्काउंट what is commission you can, you know that commission commission means what suppose there is one land okay and that land is mine i want to sell this land so you people are there you want to say buy the that land but we you and me you we don't know each other so there was one a person that person is called as a commission agent he knows that what i had done i visited this person i said i told to him just i want to sell my this land and i will give you the 0.5% commission to you okay so what he is doing he know and you also knows this commission agent you also went to this commission agent and you said that i want to buy one land and if you give me the land which i want i will give you 0.5% per, per percent commission so to do this try, to this what we deal the commission agent getting from my from my side of a 0.5% commission and from your side 5% commission okay so commission means nothing you have to do only land is mine taking and who is uh, buying you are buying but he is the person who is doing what deal he is the person who introduces ourselves and he is what happens he completed our deal and that person is called as a commission agent and for that we people are paying some money for this doing activity and that money is called as a commission clear discount means the shopkeeper sell the article to sell the article to increase the quantity of selling he is providing discounters okay and commission means what the commission means to finalize the deal what happens we have to give commission to agent uh, okay and that is called as a commission some money we have to pay them so here for that percentage commission discount are in percentage so first of all the basic let's read calls part is there and it is the uh, part of a percentage okay so you know that you studied it 12 upon 100 means what 12% and 12% we can write in in this way also 12 and this is the sign of percentage okay so this is 12 upon 100 means only 12% means only 12 and this is the percentage sign clear now the second example inside here 12% we have to write in the fraction form so here it will come 47 and this percent sign came that's why we have to write 100 so 47 upon 100 means 47% or we can write as a 47 percent also per cent cent means what 100 century knows no cricket you people are watching when sachin does 100 runs what we said that sachin completed his century sachin na century ke liye okay cent means 100 and per cent means for per 100 for per 100 for 100 200 for 400 47 for another 400 uh, sorry Hundred you had taken again forty seven in this way. This is called as a percent. Okay, now eighty seven percent. How we can write eighty uh, six? Sorry, eighty six upon hundred. Okay, 
you know this no it was easy you are studying form standard fifth these things okay the next is the 4% of 300 see here now the difficulty level increases so here 4% first of all how we are writing 4 upon 100 into 300 such a type of examples are there in scholarship also 4% means you just write 4 upon 100 of into and 300 in our textbook it is given 300 at first written and 4 upon 100 written we can write in this way also so 100 ones are 100 100 3s are 300 and 4 3s are 12 is its answer clear so in this way we have to solve one more method i will tell you that is the just cancel zeros with the zeros cancel zeros with zeros 2 zero cancels with this 2 zeros what is remain 3 into 2 4 is equal to 12 12 upon 1 remains one if you are not writing then also okay because one is there now question number 5 15% top 1700 so 1700 into 15 upon 100 again cancel the zeros okay so what is remain 17 into 15 17 into 15 so do the multiplication of this so 157 za 157 za one minute uh. 105 so 5 right here and 10 carry 15 ones are 15 plus 10 is equal to 255 so here which number will come 255 means 15% of 1700 is or 1700 is 255 in this way we have to complete this now let's discuss you may have seen such a advertisement if you see here monsoon sale okay up to 15% sorry 50% percent, 15 not 50% percent. monsoon season is there you know that these ads are very attractive ads are there here cloud they shown from the cloud what happens the rain is falling okay and for that we need the umbrellas okay and here downside return monsoon sale means such a when monsoon sale is there up to 15% percent, 50% of after monsoon if you see here you will notice that monsoon then which season come then the winter and there is a cold season diwali is there okay such a at that for diwali the shopkeepers want to buy new things for selling and for that what happens the old things are there they sell in the discount or they uh, discount so you may have such a advertisement in such a sale a discount is offered on various goods generally in month of july sales of clothes is declare declare mm -hmm. find and discuss the purpose of this sale just now i told you july august uh, okay august inside ganpati is are there uh, august september inside ganpati is are there so what happens for ganpati gauri other different festivals are there continuously if you see here first of all uh, uh, august uh, july of july or then nag panchmi raksha bandhan is there afterwards then after ganpati festival is there after the dashera is there diwali is there so so many festivals are coming one by one what it comes one by one and for getting new buying new sh things for selling the shopkeeper what happens he declares sale of the old things okay and this is called as a monsoon sale now discount so for that what he is giving discount for earning if we are we if he we hear something that person one shop is there that shop is giving to us a 50% discount or one shirt free on one shirt free such a types of offer if declares then what happens so many people are visited the shop and buying the things for that so here mrs suresh owns sari owns a sari shop the details of sari shop and profit earn in the given is following table so first of all he is giving discount huh? he is giving discount to us the he is the providing discount the meaning of it is that it is not that he is selling that sari in loss okay so how he is selling we will see now first of all in the in the month first of all cost price of sari 200 he buy the sari in june he buy the sari for 200 in june month what happens he sold that sarees for 250 rupees he sold the saree one saree for 250 rupees okay so actually cp means cost price of saree is how much 
that you know is 200 but it sell it for how many rupees for 15 rupees you know that what is the formula for profit profit is equal to selling price minus cost price okay i am using formula orally also you can find you people are very talented actually minus 200 so he get the 50 rupees profit for one sari how many saris he sold in the month of june he sold the how many saris that is the 40 saris he sold so total profit in month of june in that sari how many rupees 40 into 50 40 into 50 is equal to how much 3000 rupees okay so that is the month of june's profit in the profit that he is getting now the here see here uh, cost price 200 selling price 250 so he is getting 50 rupees per sari he is getting 50 rupees profit on per sari and then how many saris sold 40 saris sold so total profit was 2000 first line clear now what happens he buys so many saris but some only sold in the june month of june some saris left then he decided to declare the discount on that saris but cost price of sari is changing no it was not changing the cost price of sari is not changing it was same price that is the 200 rupees he buy that sari for 200 shopkeeper huh? he buy it now the selling price he declared that is 230 rupees see here there only he is doing not getting loss here we are understanding actually in june how many rupees he used for selling that sari 250 rupees but now he is selling that sari for 230 rupees here we are thinking 20 rupees loss but actually it was not loss of 20 rupees the actual price of sari was 200 so he is getting 30 rupees profit instead of getting 50 rupees profit he got the 30 rupees profit then shopkeeper is in loss whenever he is giving discount no he is not in loss so 200 as you know that profit is equal to selling price minus profit uh, cost price means 230 minus 200 is equal to 30 rupees he earned the profit when he sold that sari for 230 rupees then also he earned the 30 rupees this uh, 30 rupees profit on each sarees now see here how many rupees uh, how many sarees he all sold, sold it by giving discount 100 sarees he sold and how much is the profit now 3000 rupees is the profit okay so if you see here you will notice that now he got take out his money from this he earn profit also from this now he can invest in another cloth he will buy some dress he buy some clothes whatever they want frocks and all and he will earn more and more profit again understand means in this form, in this transaction whenever the shopkeeper is disca giving discount he is not in loss okay but he is giving what take out the profit and then he is giving discount on selling price not on cost price he is giving discount on selling price not on cost price so the person he is not facing the loss so here what they gave us from the about table it is clear that discount is given to each sari during the sale in july the profit on each sari is less profit is less here at first uh, month of june he got one sari 50 rupees profit but now 30 rupees but total sari sold more hence overall the more income for more uh, more overall there is a more income in month of june there was a 2000 profit and month of july he got the more profit that is a 3000 rupees so in this way the profit and discount selling price cost price we are taking into account now each atom to be sold a price tag in there was one price okay and that price tag is there okay anything you just see here that is there is price written mrp m r p soap is there whatever is there mrp is written mrp means marked price and that price is mark price and that mark price here price tag that price tag is called as a mark price the shopkeeper offers to discount on mark price okay he is giving me discount on mark price while selling the object the actual amount by which the heat reduces mark price is called as a discount from that marked price how many rupees he is giving less and that is called as a discount so for selling price how we are finding 
whenever we are giving discount selling price is equal to mark price minus discount mark price minus discount okay so the next part uh, and the some solved examples we will see in tomorrow because that formula we must understand and that formula we have to use for the solving next uh, example so today what we will do we will stop here only okay just basic things are there understand it okay and uh, basic things only understand okay and yesterday's that lesson we have completed that we have to 7.3 i told you to complete so, so no one can send me send me that so all of you complete and send me the homework okay so today we will stop here only okay thank you and have a good day